Hello, welcome back everybody to Parental Composure. Today we're going to be talking about disciplining during the pandemic and how it can be somewhat difficult. Stay tuned. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mike Ayers, and I'm here with Miss Elise Sombrano, back with another episode of Parent Rental Composure. Wow, that was a new one. <laughs> what are we talking about today? Um, yeah. What is the topic of discussion? So, this is something that I've been dealing with in my own house lately. Ooh. So, I wanted to kind of talk about it and see how other people are doing. Okay. So, we have the situation with the whole pandemic thing. The kids are home. Most of their friends can't play because, the, obviously, because of the freaking coronavirus. And they're stuck inside a lot, right? So, right there, I'm worried about their mental state. I mean, anybody that's just stuck inside, I mean, obviously the kids will play outside and everything, but you know, you can only do that for so long. But my question is, has anyone else had any difficulty disciplining during this time? Like taking devices away, I, yeah, you know, like uh, as a, a consequence. Yeah, a really? Yes. So I'm not the only one. No, I'm, you know, you got to remember it's been what, four months? We're going on four yes. months now of this whole thing. Yes. And... Yeah, just my, uh, let's just take Riley, Mm -hmm. um, because she's probably the best example to use, is that I feel so bad for her. I really do. I do, too. Like, her birthday was just the other day, and we had to do it inside because there's nowhere to go. There's nothing to do. Um, But, you know, she's been stuck in the house for, like, four-ish months now. I know. And I honestly think she's starting to go a little crazy just Mm because she's acting a way that she's never acted before. Mm -hmm. But it's very, you know, it is. It's very hard to discipline her while she's, you know, during this pandemic. Because if you think about it, you know, should we just say, you know, take away every single thing they have to do and knowing that they can't do anything else. I know. For, you know, we... Usually, I take stuff away for a week. Mm-hmm. I mean, what am I? Am I? Am I literally going to give her literally nothing to do for a week? I know. Then I know. you know, I might as well just put her in prison for a week. I know because that, that's what it's like, and that's the struggle. Because it's like on, normally, you know, they are able to play with friends, or they have sports that they go to at night, or school. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you know, or summer camps because normally my kids are in a summer camp in the summer but they don't have any open right now and so it's like in those situations it's easier to be like okay we're taking your phone or you know xbox or whatever but lately i've been really struggling because it's like they have nothing else to do so as a consequence the normal consequences that we do are i i think twice about them because i'm like well this is all they have to communicate with their friends or you know, to so yeah, it's just been a real struggle. Yeah. You know. And you know, with so I have disciplined Riley a lot since this whole thing has mm-hmm. been going down. And you know, I'm unless she does like something very, 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 very bad, which is really rare. Mm-hmm. I mean, normal attitude and stuff like that. I kind of give her a. Uh, a pass on some of it just because I know she's going crazy. Mm -hmm. I know she's losing her mind Mm -hmm. because she's been stuck in this house for four months now. Yeah. So, you know, I don't give her a pass on everything, but just like the smaller things that I would normally, that she would normally get in trouble for, I don't tell her I give her a pass. I'm just like, I just try to talk to her and say, you know, look, listen, I understand you're going through the, you know, sometimes, but you need to chill out. Mm -hmm. You need to recognize who you're talking to. Mm -hmm. Um, But if I take something away, like, let's just say, does your kids have TVs in their room? They did. We just took a TV. Well, I mean, away. Normally they do. Yeah, normally my oldest does. Yeah. So with Riley, what I usually would do is her phone is like gold to her. Mm -hmm. It's like 
that is her favorite thing. Mm-hmm. So now, you know, if I take the phone away, I keep her, I let her have her TV just mm-hmm. because, you know, it, I feel like with her, and this is different between every kid, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But with her, I have to, I have to let her have something. I know. To, yeah. You know what I mean? I know. If she doesn't have her phone, you know, she, she still has her TV, but she can't get on, you know, TikTok and mm-hmm. talk with her friends and stuff like that. So, you know, I think that's okay. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm still letting her watch TV, but at the end of the day, she's not doing what she wants to do the most. Yes. So, yep. you know, I have to give that leeway just because... It's like there's still a consequence, but it's not the same as it would be right. if it weren't the pandemic. Yeah. I mean, honestly, her whole mentality right now and where her head is at am i am i worried yes but i think uh, hopefully that it's just being inside yeah never she's never done it before so Mm -hmm. you know this is new to them right so you know they don't know how to act in a time like this so yeah i mean even me as an adult you know what i mean (laughs) it's i know now you know go to work come home can't do anything after you go home so you know, it's not as bad because I get to go out every day to work. Yeah. But I'm but out of the house. Stuck and they're stuck in the house. The house all the time. Yeah, I know. It's um, another thing is my my kids broke their phones the same day. So we have a family phone for the mm-hmm. younger kids. And then my oldest has a phone. They literally shattered their phones within the same day. And so they don't have phones right now because Trevor and I are like, um, so, cause they took off the little piece. Do you have those like glass covers on yeah. your, yeah. So they took that off because they didn't like it. Cause it had like a crack or something. And, um, we didn't know, but they shattered their phones and we're like, we're not going to buy a new phone <laughs> for you, you know? And so both of them don't, all of them don't have phones right now. And so they have TV and, you know, they can use my iPad, but it's like, or the computer, which is a lot. But at the same time, you know, like phones are important to kids oh, yeah. these days. <laughs> so it's, yeah, it's just been, it's. It is really hard. It's difficult. And because, then, uh, yeah. No, go ahead. Oh, I'm just, for me as a mom, I'm very concerned about the mental state of my kids at all times. Like, I just know how things are these days and I know that depression is a real thing you know I had it growing up when I was a teenager and so I'm just constantly trying to like watch them see how they're acting if they're doing things differently and so when the kids are taking like long naps during the day because they don't have something to do I'm like uh that's just not yeah I just get concerned no, I'm, just, I'm the exact same way. Uh, you know, we don't let we don't let our kids, you know, sleep long during the day for that reason as well. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like that's not a healthy way of, you know, for you know doing something with your time. Because right. Very unhealthy. Mm-hmm. Um, not gonna lie, I I mean I struggle with depression and anxiety, mm-hmm. and I know for a fact that, you know beginning that stage where you start sleeping all day yes. every day it doesn't do any good it doesn't do any good and it just brings you down more and more and more mm-hmm. and you know and every time that honestly every time that i you know that we punish riley i mean we do let her know like look listen you know we're gonna take the you're gonna, we're gonna take your phone away for blah 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 but yeah. you have to understand you can't you know you can't do what you did blah 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 but we don't take it away as long as we normally would mm-hmm. you know in a normal normal functioning world yeah <laughs> as it was before all this i know but i don't know it's the mental state is something to definitely be aware of of your children mm-hmm. during these times mm-hmm. um but i hope that that's all this is and that once this whole thing is over everything starts opening back up you know, and Riley gets to do more. Hopefully, her mental state will go back to the way it will. You know, it will go back instead of stay where it's at. Yeah, I'm hoping. And that's. I'm hoping there's some good that comes out of this. You know, obviously the fact that all you know families are able to be together a lot more that can be a positive thing. 
But I do hope that the kids come out of this whole thing, like, appreciating their time with their friends and stuff more. Instead of just constantly being on electronics. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Because, I mean, I know for myself... Like, I've actually gotten bored of doing the things that I used to love doing. I know we talked about that on one of our episodes, but it's like, I don't know. So, anyways, I guess all of you out there, let us know how you're disciplining your kids. Like, what are the different things that you're doing um, with this whole coronavirus thing? Uh, Because it is different, and it does, you know, make you think a little bit more uh, in terms of how you discipline and what what you do. But also, believe so. it or not, you're, this whole pandemic thing is taking a toll on your kid's mental state. Yeah. So always mm-hmm. be aware. Uh, you know, I don't care how mad you are at them. Just make sure you keep an eye on them. Yeah. Make sure that they're doing okay. Mm-hmm. Uh they can be mad all they want, as long as their yeah, mental state are okay. All they want. Yeah, <laughs> but other than that, you know, we're not saying, oh, you know, baby them or whatever. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, if they're, if you're punishing them, uh, you know, let them be mad. What? Who cares? But just make sure that your, you know, your brain is focusing on their mental state, making sure that they're being themselves. Mm-hmm. You know, basically, Checking yeah. In and yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's, I think that's 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 all we can do right now. That's it. It is <laughs> until we, until things go back to normal. Just that's all keep we an can eye do. on them. Yeah, yeah. And if you have any advice for us, definitely let us know. Because Absolutely. We're always open to some good advice. Always. Yeah. So don't forget to visit our social pages: Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, and subscribe to that channel and uh, ring the bell so that you'll get notified of future videos. And I think that's it for today. That is it. Ah.